right. Now, here we find ourselves in a, well, it doesn't have to be a precarious position, not if you know how to execute this little golf shot. Now, one of the most troublesome shots for an average golfer, the amateur golfer, is getting out of the bunker. This is his death fear, or getting over the bunker. Well, I can tell you, it's almost impossible to teach yourself how to get out of it if you can't hit over it in the first place. So I think where we ought to start is on this side of where we do have some grass available and execute the same shot that we would if we were in the trap, right? Because if we can do it off the grass, we can certainly do it out of the sand. The single most important thing about this shot or any shot in golf is to always keep your left hip rotating through impact. You must keep the left hip rotating. And as long as you do that, you will never quit as you go through the ball. Obviously, you see, if my hip stops pulling, everything stops, the, except the club head, and that's what manages to mess up the whole thing. So here I'm just going to hit a shot right straight away at the flag. Got about 30 yards here. And I'm going to use the vertical hinge technique that I showed you previously, where the club face uh, actually goes through looking up at the sky. And then if you continue to rotate along with that, you'll find that the ball will just merely fly up in the air, and which should have maximum spin. So making a few practice swings with the Camry at my back, you can see this is a typical vertical hinge kind of swing. As I went through, you can see the face of the club look right straight up. The key here is to keep the left side clearing. Keep the left side clearing. So, just keep the left side clearing. There's a nice, high, soft, lovely shot. As you can see, vertical descent. And if I wanted that ball to go a little farther than it just went, do you realize that all I would have to do is rotate my hip a bit faster as I went through, which would create a little bit more speed, and I'd hit the ball a bit farther. I'm not going to try to hit harder with my hands. I'm going to rotate my hips a bit faster on the forward swing. It's a bit faster. Now, that hit the ball a little farther, as you can see. <laughs> That's the kind of putt I like about that far, right? Now, I can make those most of the time. Now, let me go in the trap and execute the same shot out of the trap just to show you that there's really no problem to it as long as you will continue to rotate. Now we want exactly the same stroke we just made off the grass. The only difference here is I'm going to hit behind the ball. Right? I'm going to hit behind the ball. I'm just mentally going to draw a picture of uh, a line behind the ball as though it were the ball and continue to rotate my left side. So let's see how that works. doesn't make any difference if it's in the grass or in the sand. All right. Continue to rotate the left side. All right. Now you can see that came out fairly easily. Now, what if I wanted to hit it farther? What did I say you should do? Rotate the hip faster and watch the ball go a little farther. All right, rotate the hip faster 